out. Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the 34th episode of my Let's Play of Europe in Vertales. Or sorry, not, God, I did it again. Victoria 2 as Italy, guys. We are kicking some ass today. We are going to demolish the Heavenly Kingdom. We're going to take a bunch more states from them. I think we're going to probably declare war maybe even on France at the same time, because I would really also like to take stuff from them. Their only allies are like Spain. Spain is really the only ally they have. So let's also start, uh, as soon as our war justification finishes here, we're gonna start justifying France and we're gonna take one of their provinces. We're gonna go for, we're gonna go over the infamy limit because there's no one here that now alive that can stop us. And we're also gonna start adding war goals against Spain as well. Uh, Spain has very, very few colonies now. Uh, we'll accept, yes. Um, but Spain has very few colonies, so I feel like if we occupy them pretty much all the way, then they should, they should give us what we want which is we want pretty much their entire coastline on the inside here um, and then for France we're gonna be wanting to take more of their stuff because their their industrial score is really nice um, if we open them up we can actually see which ones okay obviously French Comte or French a, that's the, the center of France also Ile de France both of those oh we can take French Comte um, so that would be something we could do. We could also take Burgon and Limousine. I think we already fabricate. We already added a claim once for Limousine. So yeah, once we take more of those, we're gonna get more uh, industrial power out of that, which is what I kind of want. I want to get a hundred. I want to get become the workshop of the world, if we can. So yeah, we're gonna start justifying war now with them as soon as we're done with the justification for the uh, one against Heavenly Kingdom. And who gives a crap about infamy? And apparently we can do another five-year plan. Sure, why not? All right, and then we only have 12, left, 12 days left to do this. And the reason why I want to get this justification now is because, uh, especially with France, we're going to have a long time. Once we start going over the infamy limit, it's going to be difficult. Oh, we can't justify war because we probably have the no more war shit for a while. So we might maybe not... Yeah, we have no more war until 1912. So we can probably wrap this war up with the Heavenly Kingdom pretty quickly. So let's just go ahead and declare war. I want to take this province here, the, the one in the middle. So uh, let me put on province map mode. Which one? Okay. So we're going to declare for Gungzai. Gungzai. Let's do that. Gungzai. Does Germany want to come? Oh, whatever. I don't even care. We, we don't need our allies. Uh, I don't think Heavenly Kingdom, they have their Switzerland ally, but yeah, that's not going to help them. And I don't think Switzerland will come because we have a truce still. And I think over here where we have like lower, like, I think we'll be able to move quickly enough that we won't be able to catch their stuff. Unlike over here where it takes like forever to move. And we're going to try to increase the relations enough over here to get military access. Into Bengal. This, where, where's our Bengal core that we own? Or is this Burma? No, that's Bengal. We engage their soldiers. Bye bye, China. Okay. Yeah, it looks like China has Korea under their dictatorship as well. Okay, it looks like we're moving along swimmingly so far. We don't need any more troops, I guess. Ooh, did they move their capital? They did! That's awesome, right? Where Where's their capital then? It's normally like in, uh, it's in this region here. The uh, South Changzhou, I've, is, that's where I've seen it. But maybe they moved it to um, to up here? Where's their damn capital at? I don't see their capital. I mean, I thought I thought for sure it was over here because maybe it's hiding under the forts. I'm not sure. Or under our troops over there, but I'm pretty sure Shanghai was their capital. And like that was annoying because we couldn't take Shanghai then, but I guess that's not true. Alright, so as soon as these sieges finish, we're just going to have them move on. And I think we can probably add another war goal very shortly. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and demand uh, South Jingju if we can. I don't see it on here. Let's see. I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw it. Like, what's this region called? South Changshu. And there's North Changshu. So there should be at least one of those on there. Yeah, there's North Changshu. And then I guess there's just no South. I don't see South Changshu. So that their capital must be on there still. Well, anyways, we'll get north, the north part of it. Yeah, we can balance these guys out and still, still kind of siege them up very easily and fast. Ooh, look at that. A place in the sun. Our nation is the one of the most prestigious powers on Earth. From Rhone to far-flung provinces, our flag flutters proudly in the wind, striking fear into the hearts of anyone who dare oppose us. Great. So, oh shit. So, do we, our isolation is splendid. We'll lose, everybody else will lose prestige. Or all must see our splendor where we gain a lot, and... Yeah, let's do that. And then, I think we're almost done with our stuff. Let's go and, uh, let's get, maybe, we've already got our navy stuff. Let's go for more army, I guess. Just to be topped out on that. Yeah, Ninjang, there it is, their capital. I thought our army might have been covering it up. We're gonna go and kill their army quickly, hopefully, before they run away. Yeah, I don't see any of their troops in our country just yet, so that's good news as well. Uh, I think we can add the Ottomans back to our sphere, and we're gonna go ahead and do that just because. Also an alliance from them, so now we've united our communist brothers to ourselves. And once again, we control the entirety of pretty much what old Rome controlled. Pretty much. Alright, so let's justify war now. Oh, we can't. So we still have... Yeah, it's, still, it's 1912 that that goes away. The no more war thing. And we're doing hard work over here, killing those... Chinese guys. Okay, let's move over here and kill you two. Looks like he's mobilizing his reserves and that's what's giving us all these kills. Uh, sorry, we're not we're not taking peace yet. Uh, we need to figure out what we want to add as the next war goal. Maybe South Hunan and Guizhou. Let's do South Hunan first. Alright, so we got South Hunan over here, Hunan, Gongshai, and North Jingxiao. What do we need to unite North and South, or well, what do we need to get surround that area? We need, is this, we already have South Anuli. Let's do, we need North Anuli then, as well. So as soon as we get the chance, we're going to add that as well. An alliance offer from Serbia, sure, Serbia, love you too. Yeah, we're not going to do the unequal treaty, because that gives us some... They'll just give us, like, two stupid colonies that we don't really actually want. Uh, let's go take them out in their capital with this army, since that one's done. Uh, looks like Heavenly Kingdoms weren't ready to add another one. So we need to get North Anuli. So 
we're gonna go down here, kill them, and try to try to circle them a little bit. Excellent, mechanized mining. All right, we'll just let them do that, and then we'll kill those guys. Encore, encore. These guys are done. Let's go and uh, siege that province too, because they came. They seem to be getting just like a lot of mobilization out of there, and it's kind of annoying. And it's probably time to add another Wargle. So which one are we going to add this time? So we got North Anuli, North Jingshu, let's take West and East Shangdong as well. So West Shangdong. And I don't, I think we're going to go right up to the infamy limit, but we're not going to break it. A psychopath leadership, but factory outputs go up. Eh, that's alright. But I think we're gonna go right up to the infamy limit and not go over, just so that we don't get too many. Uh, like, cause it's gonna. There's no point really in pissing off our, our ally Germany right now. So let's just um, just bide our time here until we can get it finished in another, another 2.5 infamy, and then I think we'll be good to go. And I mean, in the meantime, you can just keep sieging them. There's nothing really else for us to be doing right now, anyways. Oh god, of course, that hasn't happened all day, but now it's gonna ding ding. Shut up. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep going here in the sieges. Okay, Lu Zhao. And then we engage the enemy again with two. Oh yeah, of course, kill those guys. We don't need them anymore. Um, how far? How fast is our infamy gonna go away? It's minus one point three. So per month, uh, we're gonna have issues. Uh, if we can, we could release that. Uh, we could release the little guy Fiji or whatever. Land life rating and immigrant attraction or population growth. Let's go. Uh, life rating and immigrant attraction, please. And then, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and release Fiji. Oh, they're in alphabetical order. I'm stupid. A, B, C, D, E, F, Fiji. Oh, we can't do that when we're at war. Well, then, whatever. We can just do it now. How about, we'll just go over the infamy limit briefly for a second. And then, so now we need to get West Shangdong? The other Shangdong, basically. Alright, so now we can peace them. As soon as they want peace, we'll take it. Alright, let's see, what are they going to give us? We have six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, let's just, we'll just do it ourselves. I just want to make sure, I don't want to make any mistakes in this part of the game when it just is going to take a few more minutes to wait. Alright, and then hopefully, okay, propose peace, they'll accept this offer, great. All right, this is gonna look cool. Uh, yeah, no, we're gonna keep this shit. Okay. Forget it. We're gonna keep what we have. Okay, we gain a little bit more infamy. That's okay though, because we're gonna release Fiji right now. So now we're back under the infamy limit, and hopefully we didn't lose Germany as an ally. No, but they are falling to rebels. Looks like they got some communists up there. Uh -huh. Why? Why are there so many communist nations? It's so weird. I stayed um, as Germany last time. We stayed, and I'm pretty sure everybody else around us mostly stayed not communist. Can you give me military access? No. Well, we can keep on increasing relations in Bengal. Let's 
do our spheres here. How's Ireland doing? Still not at war with the UK, that's good. Actually, it looks like the UK lost their cores over here in Ireland, which is good for them. Uh, we have a lot of ships over here. Oh, these are all our crew. Do we have any dreadnoughts over here yet? No, not yet. That's okay, though. We still need to get our troops out of there. UK is like, get the hell out of me, damn it. Oh yeah, they're they got we got a truce and they're in our sphere. Oh yeah, and we made them. Let's get military access and go help out the uh, the Germans. All right. Oh, we need to wait like a day for them to accept our military. Yeah. Okay. I think the Germans are going to fall before... I think we're coming too late to help. Alright, never mind. This is not going to work. Um, here, let's just send them to... Like, like this. To unsiege places. And then, in the process of getting there, we should cut them down as many as there are. And then we'll use these guys to unsiege all this stuff. I mean, as much as I'd like to see them fall to communism, I don't want to lose them as an ally. Ah, but you know what? Never mind. I, I want to see them have communists anyways. So let's just, like, we're, we're just going to chill. Everybody stay in Italy. Or, well, France, but, you know, Italy's France. And it's almost time, we're almost going to have the No More War thing gone away, so we can fight against both uh, Spain and... Ooh, maybe we could do a Great War. That would be cool. I, does Fran but France doesn't have any Great Power allies. I don't think anybody except for us has a Great Power ally. Which is really weird. Alright, whatever. Oh, we got 100% communists. Wow, what a surprise. Uh -huh. Okay. Got more military leadership. Great. Uh, more Suez Canal dividends. Fantastic. Um, we should probably just grab our units out of here, too. Alright. Uh, you guys there. I'm just station them on the border. Why not? And then we'll probably want to put on infrastructure map mode and figure out where exactly our uh, troops are going. There we go. Let's put on infrastructure map mode and see if we can't get more more railroads and stuff. Since our idiot our stupid version of government don't won't let us do it. Should also, I guess, expand the navy bases. Alright, and oh, we could do it up here in Nepal. I, I would never have thought that. I would have figured it would be just too difficult to make anything there at all. Is this Spain right here? Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, that looks like ours, but it's not. Okay, well, we've got everything being worked on at least. The Ottomans are at least doing a good job keeping their, uh, no, we can't, we can't invest, that's why it's not letting us. I was like, they're doing a good job keeping their stuff up, but they're not actually. So let's drop these guys off over here. So France has a military power of 262 and 103 over here. So, I mean, eh, that could be a little bit of trouble dealing with that. Can we start justifying war now against them for real? No. We need to figure out when that goes away. 
It's not gonna go away till October. All right. Well, whatever. Our infamy is kind of high-ish now. But it's nice because even if uh, even if Germany falls, then we can still get our alliance back with them. Even if they go communists. Where's all their army? They have so much military power, it says, but where is it? I don't think it counts the rebels, really. So are these all communist areas? Oh no, they have Jacobin rebels as well as, like, German communists, but it's all the same idea, I guess. I wonder if we're getting any uh, Italian going over here. Yeah, we do have some South Italian going to Tunisia. We've had it long enough, damn it. <laughs> Excellent! Yay, shaft mining. I'm surprised we haven't gotten any like states yet in the in the like really low prob low like areas like down here. In a uh, usually you get this one. It's become a state pretty easy. Brazil is fighting Peru. Peru is going to lose. Brazil just has a massive military. United States looking cocky as ever. Yep, let's go ahead and host the 5th Olympic Games. Why not? And let's see if we can't upgrade any of these factories that we got. Piedmont is so full. I love it. So is it Piedmont and Aquitaine is our two most powerful? No, Campania and Lombardia are really good. Huh. Rhone is good too from... I think that's the one of the ones that we stole from France already. That's nice. It looks like they made peace with their rebels. And they kept... Um... Oh, they went to reactionary. Were they always reactionary? I forget. I feel like they always were because we never lost anything from them. Let's get military access and stuff from them too so that we can just keep those extra relations going with us, between us. So we have to wait till June 5th. And then we'll... Oh, we already have those. Okay, good. Alright, so nothing left to do to the Germans. Let's, uh, let's maybe increase relations with Austria-Hungary. Who are the great powers? So it's us, then the United States, then Germany, then the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom bounced back with their industry pretty fast, but their their prestige and milit and military are never gonna come back fully. Looks like Hyderabad dropped off the great power thing. But there are a lot of Indian nationalists down here now. What are these guys just rebels? Oh well. Let's see, like, about building more of those infantry units over here. Or building more just troops in general. Wow, so many units, Jesus Christ. I wish they were better though, you know, and not like as crap units, you know, kind of. I'd prefer if they were just regular units, but whatever, I'm not going to complain anymore. <laughs> Too much complaining. Better idea, an excellent idea, we accept. Yeah, let's do it. It's just a drop in the bucket really at this point, honestly, that much money is nothing to me. Uh, we got two armies here in accident. Let's split, spread out a little bit on the border then. Move those guys up there to that province. Alright, so yeah, we we got a giant Beijing China area. I wonder why it's not just like Beijing or Italian Asia. 
Probably because we have Italian India and Italian China, so that's, I guess, why. I don't know. I would like to take over the Dutch Indonesia area, if we could. So maybe we'll start fabricating claims on them as well. Who are they actually allied with besides us? Spain? Why are they Spain good allies? Aren't they, like, sphered? Mm. Damn it, Spain. <laughs> We're gonna have to start fighting you again just to take over more of your lands. So can we get into a great war with you now? Do you have any great power allies? I don't think Spain nor New Zealand... Yeah, none of those guys are great powers. But um, having the uh, Germans on our side would not hurt. We'll help with their railroads, I guess. Especially since we're not dismantling the French this time. The reason why we didn't want their help last time is because... Or the help of Germany last time is because we were dismantling them. And if we dismantle them with Germany's help, then Germany would get some of the colonies too. Which I learned the hard way in the uh, in the campaign as Germany when we gave like half the colonies to Octania and then to Italy, which was really stupid. They took our damn colonies. We've worked so hard on this. Can we actually build any of these tanks yet? No, we don't. Yeah, we need to have a combustion engine discovered as well. Which is, we could do that. Let's do that next after that one. Have we lost our truce yet with these guys? No, we still have that damn truce. When is that over? 13. Ah, I see. Anyways, let's start justifying war with France. Why can't we do that yet? I thought for sure. No more wars. Not over until October. It's... Oh, October. September, October. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm stupid. I forget how months go. I still need to sing the alphabet. We got a lot of rebel factions. Six million Nefarian patriots. Gongshai nationalists. A lot of stuff. They've got zero revolt risk, though. 36 million Jacobin rebels. But they have no brigades. None of these have brigades ready to mobilize either, so I don't think we really have to worry. And besides, their militancy should go down pretty well. Uh, let the world think what it likes. Maybe we should push a crisis up here. Not in Germany, we want to push it over here in the Soviet Union. Yeah, let's do, uh, let's, let's increase this and uh, stop doing this in Venetia. So now, once that gets to full, then um, then we can go and fight. Yay! We got more prestige. We were just solidifying our spot at the number one, I guess, with all this prestige. Yeah, we got six thousand points, more than t twice of the UK now. The United States is pretty hot on our heels, and they've got an impressive industry that we're gonna have a tough time matching. We're still continuing to build ships and send them over here. That's okay, I guess. Still no dreadnoughts, though. I'm gonna make Rome the capture point for all of our navy now instead of Aquitaine. We have so many ships that we're supposed to we should have now. It's ridiculous how many we have. Alright, but that's about going to do it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play of Victoria 2 in Italy. So next episode, we're probably going to finish up our justification, if I'm correct. Oh, do we already, or start our justification? Let's do that now to acquire a state from them. We could get an 11 infamy, but uh, we're going to bank on this. And if we do, we're just going to go over the limit anyways now. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.